Okay, we are now in the height of the British summer and the golf season is well and truly upon us. And I have a conundrum that I'm just not sure about in my golf bag. Do I go driving iron or do I go hybrid for a little bit more forgiveness off the tee and into these long par fives and par fours? Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, if you're new here, first of all, smash that subscribe button below and let me know, would you go hybrid in your bag this year? Or would you think about even going driving iron for these par four tee shots and long par four and five. You see, for me, I love the idea of hitting stinger tee shots off tee shots like this that are a little bit narrow. I love the idea of having a golf club where I can play it down, I can be versatile with it, play draws, play fades. Now, there aren't many hybrids on the market that allow you to do that. And I've got two clubs today which I'm putting head to head, both out here on the golf course and on the golf song wave out here on the golf course to check for numbers and forgiveness and all the elements that you definitely want to know about if you put in a club in your bag. You see, for me, the Cobra King Tech Utility Iron ticks almost all the boxes for me for what I'm describing. I, can, I know that I can play for what I'm describing. I know I can play it low, I know I can play a draw, I know I can play a fade. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is maybe that forgiveness element. I know that this iron is great for shots like that, shots where I need to keep it in play, shots where I'm not really comfortable with the tee shot hitting driver or three wood, but I can produce a golf swing like that. Now the other corner is a tailor-made hybrid, which is one of the more versatile hybrids on the market, which is right down my alleyway, it is of course the tailor-made Stealth 2 hybrid. This is jam-packed full of technology, it's jam-packed full of adjustability as well, so I've actually been able to loft this down to 18 degrees now. That is now a two hybrid, or a two rescue, you can see that it features the speed pocket, you can see that it features a little bit of weighting at the back there, and it also features TaylorMade's forged twist face. Now, it's not very often I say this, but I think this hybrid feels better than the driving iron today. Is that down to the forged face? Maybe. Is it down to having a little bit more forgiveness in it, giving me a little bit more confidence, and allowing me to strike shots like that one? Um, probably but guys i do really think it's a very interesting discussion and an interesting debate are you going to have a driving iron in your bag this year are you going to have a hybrid in your bag this year what clubs do you feel comfortable using the most when it comes to that kind of 200 230 maybe even 240 yard mark again the comments below remember we're going to test these on the golf song wave to see exactly which one works best numbers wise because there's certainly a window of numbers that i would want to hit with these clubs even on miss hits that is the key that i'm looking for here how does it do when i don't do that well guys get in the comments below let's get to the next tee and hit some more shots and another factor which i do find really, really interesting for your guys game even more than mine is that that air of forgiveness does it matter to you forgiveness do you just want to work on your game and actually swing better or do you want that element of forgiveness i feel like if i have that element of forgiveness it allows me to swing freer because i know i don't need to put as good a swing on it but then i probably do put a better swing on it because i'm not as worried does that make sense or is that just me being weird anyway there's two decent shots down here there's nothing splitting them so far now although this shot may not be as important to a lot of golfers out there for me this is a vitally important shot that i play quite a lot out here on the golf course in the summer I love to play a little sawn off iron that goes around 180 yards in the air, runs out to about 200 and stays straight bang towards that post. You see there's quite a lot of holes out here at the local courses that I play that require this kind of tee shot at this time of year. You don't need a full blooded tee shot, you could just hit a kind of full five iron, but I love the idea of just swinging a little bit slower, swinging a bit smoother, making sure you're in control of that club face and for me it allows me to keep the ball in play just a little bit more so which club's going to allow me to do that the most i think with the cobra it should be a case of being able to do it no problem look how low that went by the way i barely even left the floor and that's going to be right next to those posts that's exactly what i'm meaning by that an effortless golf swing where the ball's always under control it's never really going to give you any hassle can I do that with the hybrid? The issue with the hybrid is it's going to come off hotter. You're always going to get more ball speed from the hybrid than you are the iron. That's a little bit harder to control and it's harder to launch down. So a really interesting method here. Guys, do you ever play this shot? Do you need a shot where you can kind of punch it off the tee at this time of year? Can we do it with the hybrid? You see, that's just, I've had to cut across that a bit more 
that's likely to be near the fairway bunkers and that all of a sudden is a shot that's going to cost me shots out here on the golf course. I feel like the swing was okay but I definitely felt like I had to bail out at the last minute. Not a shot that I want to be doing when I am playing golf with my friends. Let's see where they've finished. I have a feeling the driving iron might win this round. Must admit though, two very lovely bits of turf interaction. You can see the divot from the hybrid certainly going a little bit more to the left as opposed to the divot with the driving iron that's going a little bit more down the middle of the fairway. Definitely pilot error, but potentially pilot error because of the plane, if that makes sense. A bit. Now you see if this was just a debate about distance, if this was just a debate about how far can I hit a club, I'd probably just go even less loft or even longer shaft or I'd just go the hybrid or even a five wood. But the fact is that I want to be able to play these versatile shots. I want to know what's in the locker and know how far they're going to go. The fact that the hybrid is adjustable is definitely a bonus for me. I think looking at it now having played these shots, it's really important to test these shots as well to test them on the golf course that you play on. I think having that element of adjustment is key to me, so maybe even looking at a driving iron with more adjustability would help for different conditions, different days, even different holes. But look at this. We have the driving iron bang on line with the post, as I said, and I can't see the hybrid anywhere, which is quite worrying. There are two bunkers up here. All of a sudden, I'm singing the hybrid's praises because it's adjustable and the hybrid has left me with a very very difficult shot on the face of that bunker into that flag where let's be fair a par here and you've managed to escape massively i think the driving irons won that round again right okay let's have a little bit more of a oh. let's have a little bit more of a real life review we're on the par five we're going to boom driver down here then we should have around 230 in which is exactly why I would be hoping these two clubs would go. We're going to see which one goes closer, but first of all, we need to hit the driver. This is generally the easy bit. Get it down there, leave yourself a decent distance in. Would you go hybrid or long iron? Oh yes, please. I love hitting driver. I can't just hit driver all the time. It'd be better, wouldn't it? Now, a lot of people might well be saying in the comments, James, you've discounted a five wood, a seven wood, really really quickly I just don't like them to be I'm going to be brutally honest I'm not a, a five wood or a seven wood kind of guy Chris is Chris who's on the channel a lot he uses a seven wood all the time and he swears by it he loves it but I'm very much driving iron or hybrid kind of guy that's just what I am let me know what you are in the comments guys because I like to know what kind of clubs you're using I mean for me that's one of the best drives I've hit in a very very long time as well so this is a perfect situation for me to test what I'm going to have in here I need to hit probably a big high fade to try and get the ball to to land softly this isn't one where you can just kind of try and clip it down there like I have been doing off the tees and this is why it's important to test different situations and different scenarios when you're thinking about what club to put in your bag also I like to do this with one ball now I used to do this with three or four balls but for me you might as well just do that on a launch monitor on a simulator like I'm going to show you now on the golf zone wave but you get one shot out here on the golf course so make sure you take the one that counts and you see how it works under that little bit more pressure of only having the one ball Okay guys, before you see the finale here and see exactly which one I'm going to hit closer on the par 5, let's jump on the golf song wave, let's have a look at the numbers. For me, it's very, very interesting because the forgiveness rates were totally different. I'll leave you with that one. So I did this test right before the video on the Golf Song Wave, and as you can see, I set up the Stealth 2 Hybrid to have the same loft. I put down the Golf Song Wave just behind the ball and started hitting away. Now for me, it's very interesting because the Hybrid felt fantastic and was just a little bit easier to hit, even, hmm. yeah, even bad shots like that. I kind of got away with. Then I put the driving iron down and started kind of chopping and changing between the clubs. Some very nice ball flights, some very indifferent ball flights, and a very good test because... I didn't hit them all perfectly. As you can see, quite a bit more ball speed there with the hybrid, a little bit more spin, and of course, more distance, as you would imagine. That's going to be down to the shaft length, the lever length, things like that. But the big thing for me was that I can't really explain to you the element of difference in forgiveness here and why I think the hybrid is probably more suited, not only to me, but to most people as well. But is it as enjoyable? Guys, comment below and let me know. Let's see if we can get on this par five in two. So as you can see, although the driving iron might be more versatile, it's certainly not as forgiving as the hybrid, which I kind of already knew. But can we make an eagle with one of these balls? This is the driving iron, obviously. Can I play the big high nice fade? 
that's nice, but it's overdoing it a bit. Sit, sit. Oh, that's way right. That was probably the best strike of the evening, but I've tried to play the high fade and massively overdone it. What about the hybrid now? For me, I should be able to just play this a little bit straighter, actually, because it's going to have the landing angle because it's designed to go up in the air a little bit more. We're on a downhill slope as well, which does make this shot harder, something to bear in mind. Oh, that's a horrible Healy one, but I'll tell you what, if I had to pick a ball, that's going to run... That might be on the green. That had no right to be on the green because the driving iron was the much better strike. The driving iron sounded nicer. It was just a, probably a better golf swing. But take a look where these are finished. I don't know where they're finished, but the hybrid's definitely better. Yeah, just as I thought, the hybrid has given us an eagle chance, even with a horrible necky fade that probably didn't even get overhead height. I can see the driving iron, the driving iron. It's really interesting because you look at where the driving iron's finished here and it's just, I mean, I'm probably gonna two put the hybrid. I'm probably gonna two put, probably gonna make birdie. Realistically here, I've got a very, very difficult chip shot and this could end up being a two shot swing just because of the golf club that I've chosen. Let's see how close I can look at the state of that. We've been doing some get good at golf videos and I've not cleaned that today yet. Well, this is gonna take some shot to pull off to make a birdie. And to be honest, a good shot just to get out of here with a par. That's probably as good, is it? Hmm, it's definitely not a birdie. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Let me know what club would you have in the bag. I think I'm going to revisit the drawing board on this one and maybe look at an adjustable, maybe slightly more forgiving driving iron, but certainly the hybrid for me, I'm not going to be disappointed with for the next few weeks and hopefully take some more money off Gaz and Chris. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button. See you later. Goodbye.